greetings guys what's up hope that you guys are doing well i hope that everything is working out well i know that it's a hard time that we're in but with god everything is possible and we know that we don't have to fear because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world and if we decide that we're going to trust god i believe that god is really going to do something for us um really truly the reason why i'm really making this video well god knows god knows and god is saying that it's time for a change it's time for a change things are going to happen in this season yes guys god is doing a new thing god is going to protect his people god is favoring his people but there are some things that are that will happen that we should be aware of or should look out for so been for for two days straight and sometime after some god has been showing me visions and god has been showing me visions of great catastrophe that will be upon the land be upon the church well i don't want to say the church church but anyone in the church that is playing church or playing god playing christ will be a part of it and god allowed me because i was there waiting for god to really tell me when to make this video i wanted him to be the one to tell me when and where he wants me to make this video and i don't want to say it's delayed but let me just get right into the message but let me just pray father in the name of jesus let your spirit and let your name be glorified in this video take self away kill flesh god almighty and let your name be glorified let your spirit and let your authentic power be felt in the name of jesus christ amen and amen so another thing sorry about that so i got this dream right uh and uh, there were many different parts to the dream many different sections many different parts and uh, i just want to share the highlighted parts that god wanted me to share so i remembered i remember that all right yeah sorry about that guys so i just should have highlighted part that god really showed me in the dream and i just want you guys to just to, all of us who should really take heed because this is a warning to the nations this is an urgent warning to the nations not just this nation jamaica but other nations so i remembered that i was there in the dream with this let me just go to this part there was this leader i saw the map of europe the continent rather of europe and there was this leader who was in charge of every single country in that continent yes there was this leader who was in charge of every country in that continent and uh, it's like i saw i don't know if you guys know that when you use google maps that when you're at a certain area you see an arrow that says you're here or there or a red arrow, a red arrow and you will see that little frequency coming out that you're at a certain point or like shock waves let me just put it that way and uh, i would saw different areas in the on the map that would have these specific points and i would see like it was red it was red and it was like giving out a signal to these countries in europe and i remember that two of these specific arrows were in europe in some countries in europe and one was at the border of europe into africa right and i heard the lord said 
four times I saw the word came up before me. Four times. Earthquake. 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 Four times I saw the, 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 the list. I, I saw the word earthquake came up before me. Four times. Four times. And uh, I was there. And I didn't know what the... What, what it really meant if it, if it really meant that Europe is going to be shaken by an earthquake or what but through sharing with a friend that God allowed me to share with God allowed her to get interpretations that number four represents the creation of the world so it may not be just for Europe but for other nations in the world there are for other countries that is and guys I don't know but this is a serious dream guys this is a serious dream I mean it was and if you guys look at the Richter scale or some grabs you I'm think you can show that when you see a certain attack or shockwave in some areas you will see that red signal going out or that shockwaves going up it was just like that in the country or in the continent of Europe just like that and uh, it was very catastrophic and uh, it wasn't really pretty guys i mean there's going to be great distress that's going to come on the land to some countries that is because god has been giving up warnings warnings on top of warnings to many many countries many there was this also this other part in the dream where is that there was this icy lake this lake was covered it was frozen this lake it was frozen and there was this one guy that was with me and one lady that was pregnant and uh, I was we were we wanted to get to the other side so we were going on top of the ice but I fell on top of the ice and same and so did the guy but the pregnant lady happened to make it across then the ice began to break it began to break and it began to start to rear the lady came off the ice to on land and i began to saw the water and what happened was that she immediately pulled us off the ice onto dry land so again god gave us the interpretation that the way how devastating things are going to be on the face of the earth is going to be difficult cold uh, here what he says getting cold represents the difficulty of the situation that will affect us in the end of times which we are already in after a while you see it's going to break away it's going to break away it may not happen in one day it may take years months i don't know but it's going to happen and after a while these situations are going to last forever because prophecies must fulfill. Christ will return. Things will get better for those who serve him. That is why there was the ice breaking. Things were just melting out, melting away. And the next day, I happened to get another dream. And uh, this one was so much more clearer than before. So much more clear. And... Uh, in this one i it's, it was like i was in the air i was in the air and uh, it's like i was in a city i'm i cannot say which city it was but the city was very populated huge buildings well constructed roads roads in the air roads beneath i think you guys know what i'm talking about and uh, all of a sudden the earth began to shake violently violently i remembered this there was this road that was constructed in the it, it, it just break break off just scattered and there was this car that was just approaching and it just fell right down and it was this guy was about maybe about 100 feet in the air hundreds of feet in the air and uh, what would happen is that the earth would quake the car would fall in then i would see this guy he he would be like crying out for help because 
he was there trapped he was lying down and earth was just pulling him in he was just pulling it was just pulling him in it was like he was trying to cry out for help but there was no help there was no help whatsoever there was no form of help it was great catastrophe on the land guys this earthquake shook violently then in the next dream I, I, I was in another place where it was like a school setting and I saw only few let's say about a hundred or two hundred let's just put it that way students people and what would happen was would be that what would happen would be that is that these would be the survivors that survived the great catastrophe the earthquake these are the people that survived that's based on my knowledge these are the people that only survived the earthquake and it was just a few as i said the city was very populated and i was there with other students adults really few teachers that survived this great earthquake then I remembered, and God is just bringing back the remembrance that I got this vision where I, it's like I saw this big flat screen TV and I saw a guy, it was a white guy, and he was saying that there's going to be an 8.2 magnitude earthquake to hit. There's so many warnings God is giving to us guys urgent warnings for us jamaica or other caribbean countries international countries to wake up because no one knows the day nor the hour the son of man will put in his appearance and when this catastrophe um destruction shall happen this is what i have written down what god has given me to share he has given me what he wanted me to share with you guys and the Lord said, and he said, warning to the nations, warning to the nations. And he said, it will be catastrophic destruction upon the land, says the Lord. You see, this land, guys, Jamaica, we need to wake up. Other nations too, Jamaica, we need to wake up. We need to realize that God is calling us to repentance. He's calling us to get back to the place of reverence, to, to the place of worship, back to the foundation where we were before. God wants us to get back to that place. And if we are not careful, we are going to fall into the trap. We are going to fall into the, the great destruction that will happen. There are many things that God is um, judging this island for and other nations. One, the sin of idolatry. The sin of idolatry. If you guys read carefully, um, well, I think I need to get a Bible. Hold on. If you guys read their Bible carefully, God gave me 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 6. And I believe that speaks about the cornerstone. I'm sure you guys know about that. There are other scriptures. I'm going to put them in the description. You guys can just go ahead and just read that. So, this Bible, I'm going to get a different version. Hold on, guys. Awesome. So I said it in First Peter chapter two verse six. All right. Here what it says. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I will lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, 
elect and precious and he that believes on him shall not be confounded he that believes on this cornerstone will not be confounded, will not be put to shame, will not be destroyed, will not receive everlasting death. The one who believes that Jesus Christ is the cornerstone will see him. But we have moved Jesus Christ as the cornerstone from our lives and from this nation. And we have put other things above him. We have put our jobs, we have put family, we have put government, we have put, um, it's, our, it's all about us. Where does God fall in the picture? Where is God in our lives in this island? Where is Jesus Christ? The sin of idolatry. We have turned our backs on God. We have gone back to Babylon. We have gone back to Egypt to worship the foreign gods. Good and sad to say, even in the church, we have people that have turned their backs on God. They're in the church physically, but their spirit and their mind is not on God. They're not on, on the things of the word of God. And if we're not careful, guys, we're going to lose it if we're not applying the word of God to our daily lives. If we're not careful, we need to get back to the place of worship, guys. We need to get back to the place where God is the center of this country. Um, as I said, there are other scriptures. And uh, I'm going to put them in the description. The next one is the sin of disobedience. Oh God. Second Peter. Chapter 2 verse 8 to 9. Here goes, a stone of stumbling, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. Being disobedient, were unto also they were appointed. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that he may show the praises of him who called thee out of darkness into his marvelous light. I want to reverse it again. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. Who is the word? Jesus Christ. Being disobedient, whereunto they were also appointed. So guys, we see Jesus Christ is a chief cornerstone. And he is the one that will build us together and put us up. But because of disobedience, we choose to rebel against him. Because of disobedience, we have choose to turn our backs on God. Guys, we need to get to the place where we, 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 we see God. And not because it's what I really realize many of us want our own desires. It's what we want. But when last of we seek God, when last of you seek God, when last of our family seek God and say, God, what is your will? What do you want for my life? What do you want for this church? What do you want for, for our communities? What do you want for this country? The sin of idolatry and disobedience is very rampant, guys. And we are turning our backs on the word of God to fulfill our own desires and flesh. And when you do preach the word of God, when you do preach Jesus Christ, he became a stumbling block and a rock of offense because no one wants to hear God no one wants to talk about God no one wants to be corrected no one's no one wants to be disciplined and warned but Jesus Christ says he is gonna be a stumbling block uh, he's gonna be a stumbling block and an offense to them who are disobedient because they are gonna see his wrath and his judgment on this land Jamaica has been warned multiple times. I, 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 can, I know that for a fact that this country has been warned multiple times. I'm not going to even go to the external countries yet. I am talking about my country, my island. We need to wake up. I'm going to go to the next sin that God pointed out to me. The sin of greed. And greed is linked back to idolatry. 
greed, money. It's all about fame. It's all about money. It's all about the cash, but it's all about the lottery. It's all about getting different jobs so we can get money. When last have you been greedy and hungry for the word of God? Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst after righteousness and they shall be filled. Greed is a sin, guys. Nothing is wrong. I want to just go to Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 20. And I believe what the Holy Spirit wanted me to give you the scriptures. So I'm just going to go right in as soon as possible. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 20. The harvest is past. The summer is ended and we are not saved. The harvest is past. And the summer has ended and we are not saved. The harvest has passed. The time of plenty has passed. The summer has ended. If, you, if we put it in context, harvest means plenty. Harvest means food, production, wealth, prosperity. Harvest have passed. Summer is a time of fun. Summer is a time of joy. Summer is a time of celebration. It has come to an end. And we are still not saved. We want the pleasures of this world. Jesus said, what profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? And guys, one day the harvest is going to pass. The time of plenty is going to decrease. The time of festive and the time of enjoyment is going to go down. And are you going to be saved? Will you be saved rather? Will you commit your life to Jesus Christ? Come on, guys. I mean, the sin of idolatry, the sin of disobedience, it is rampant in, our, in, in the church and in the world. Um, Isaiah 28, verse 16. I really wanted to put this in the, chat, um, in the description, but I hear the Holy Spirit saying to give you the scriptures. I should read them. So Isaiah 28, verse 16. 16 Therefore thus said the Lord God Behold I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone a tried stone a precious corner stone a sure foundation and he that believe shall not make haste He that believe on this stone he that believe in Jesus Christ do not have to fear do you don't have to worry but many people have rejected this cornerstone Psalms 118 verse 22 thank you Jesus Psalms 118 verse 22 and it goes the stone which the builders refuse is become the head of the corner or the stone the builder refuse has become the chief cornerstone no matter how much you reject christ guys that does not take away his lordship no matter how much you have rejected jesus christ that cannot take away his lordship and one day he's you you may reject Christ no he may not be doing anything he may slowly back out and give you time he will give you opportunities to repent but one day this same cornerstone that you have rejected the same word that you have rejected rejected that was in the beginning with the father and who was the father and who was the word which is Jesus Christ according to John 1 verse 1 is the same stone that will crush those who are not in line with God. Wow. Guys, I mean, guys, 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 guys. God wants us to wake up. God wants us to wake up. God wants us to wake up. I mean, guys, I tell you, pray for your, pray for your family. Pray for your family because this is going to hit. This is going to hit. Guys, Montego Bay, if we do not turn to Jesus Christ, we are going to get it devastatingly 
very drastically, very catastrophic, very, very chaotic. We need to wake up. The, the church needs to wake up. Great. The government needs to wake up. The island needs to wake up. The businessmen, businesswomen, the, the sectors, ministers, we need to wake up because Jamaica is in trouble. Jamaica is in trouble. The nations are like a drop in a bucket in the eyes of your... Guys, come on, man. Jesus, hallelujah. Guys, God gave me a few nations. I don't want you to call them out. But I know that God, God, God gave me Jamaica's one and the United States of America. God says that there are some areas in the United States that are devastatingly in sin. And He's going to quake the earth. To prove that he is God, that he is sovereign. He said that the homosexuals cannot take away his lordship. The homosexuals cannot take away his lordship. Caribbean countries, we, some Caribbean countries, we need to wake up. Especially to those who are in the east area right there. We need to wake. We need to wake up. Guys, you're gonna get more information in the description. And just read that, share this, because this is urgent. This is urgent message for us to fast, pray, and ask God to keep our families safe. God even mentioned um, countries in the war countries in the eastern side of the world eastern countries war countries sorry will face it let me say it i even saw in visions food will be short food will be short in some of these countries guys it's not gonna be pretty it's not going to be pretty but i know that god knows how to keep his people he knows how to and he will keep his people but for those who are not on the ark please get on the ark salvation boat salvation ship before it leaves the docks because anyhow the ship leaves the docks and you're not on board you will be caught up in the destruction god is saying that if you are not on the ark at a certain time if you do not take um your, your your choices wisely and surrender your life to him mercy door will be shut just as he shut noah's art door he will shut it and if you are not on board if you're not saved if you're not born again if you're not in line with jesus christ if you're not in fit with his holy spirit if you're not walking the right path if you have not confessed your sins, ask him to live in inside of your heart because baptism cannot really save you. It's one thing, but it a change of the heart is what God wants. Judge not. Some people baptize as a Christian, but some baptize as a Christ-like follower. And I believe you know what that already means. Some people only baptize because of the fear of hell. Some people baptize because they because they um they going to do it because they were forced to. Baptism does not save you. But are you a Christ-like follower? Only those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons and daughters of God according to Romans 8. If you're not led by the Holy Spirit, and if you're, if you're not led by God's Spirit, you're being led by another spirit. Choose this day whom you will serve. The last thing, even... Well, Jesus. I want you guys to help me share this video, please share this video share it share it in jesus name share it. god even give me a word for the, even the president of the united states donald trump no as i said i'm just a vessel god speaks i execute what he says i must execute this is not me this is not vijay statement speaking this is god and God says to President Donald Trump, Thus says the Lord God, or thus said the Lord, 
fulfill the law I have set before you. Walk in the word. Walk in obedience, say the Lord of hosts. Walk in obedience. Thus say the Lord, fulfill the law I have set before you. Walk in my word. Walk in obedience, say the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Guys, it's time to wake up. And the last thing I really wanted to share is this. God says, tell my people to pray for safety. For your family. Pray for safety, guys. And I pray that. Pray for your families that are not saved. That they will come to know Jesus Christ before it's too late. Guys, take this video seriously. Share it. Read the description below and just allow God to do what He desires. In Jesus' name. Amen.